Hello. Um, it's been a very, very long time. I think it's been about two years. Um, it's Christmas time, obviously, because Christmas, this is not like May or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a quick sort of Christmas video for 2015. And I thought I would update everybody on where I am and what I'm doing. The room I'm in looks incredibly different to the room I've been in in all my previous vlogs because I have subsequently moved to Edinburgh. Um, I met a lovely woman uh, who is my, you know, my rock. She's been really, really helpful, really supportive. And I moved up and, you know, I live kind of on my own, but she comes around a lot to help out. Um, and, and I love her dearly. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm up here now, and I've been up here for how long have I been here for? Like two months, two nearly. Months. Yeah, nearly two and a half months. Um, and it's different. It's where my chronic fatigue is concerned. My chronic fatigue has improved a fair bit. I have been doing well. I've been carrying on with my open uh, my optimum health clinic um, and I sought a private therapist out to help try and alleviate some of the fears that I was having around uh, my progress and what I thought was holding me back um, and it was really really helpful. I felt that my body was more capable of you know, my mitochondrial function has improved. It's not brilliant, but it has improved. Um, and I'm, my body was in a much better place, but my brain hadn't yet caught up. So I needed the confidence and I needed the help to get me to where I wanted to be with that, you know. So I took it small steps and then a situation arose in which I could take a leap of faith i guess and i took it and that's where that's where my lovely lady is do another one do another <laughs> brilliant uh that's where my lovely lady uh came in and really really helped me and it set me on uh this trajectory i find myself on now where i'm recovering okay i mean i took a little bit of a leap in recovery um which enabled me to do this and i felt like i was getting stuck back at home um and i felt like this was the in the independence which i needed um i'm nearly 30 years old and i'm still living at home and i know that's uh fine for some people with chronic fatigue and and i don't want to say that you know if you have chronic fatigue get out of the house as soon as you can because for some people you can't do that you need you need to have that support network around you because sometimes you can't do it on your own. And it's only now that I'm able to do this and I couldn't do this without my girlfriend's help. I could not feasibly do this on my own. Um, that is probably the only reason why I'm up here. Um, if it wasn't for her, I would still be back at home. So I'm hugely grateful and it's given me a massive opportunity to try and actually find my boundaries and to find what it is that I'm capable of um, and learn to live with and improve with the chronic fatigue um, because it is getting better. It's nowhere near where I want it to be. And the other thing which has been fantastic is my wheelchair. Uh, I got myself a wheelchair. I can't remember if I vlogged about it, but it has meant that I can get out of the house um, and do things. So it means that I can get out for more than five, ten minutes because that's all I can really manage if I walk about. So the wheelchair has been fantastic and having someone to push me around do another one, do another one, it's awesome, I love it. This little fist that comes in here, it's perfect. Um, yeah, it's, but to have someone to push me around is is fundamental to, I would say, my survival. It lets me get out of a room in which I'd ordinarily be, be stuck in. So I'm hugely grateful for the opportunity and my family have been really supportive and really helpful. Um, and I'm I'm trying to make it work. It's it was a big move, but we did it, and it was yeah, it's been really big. I've come on a long way, both mentally and physically, um, in the last two years, I guess, since I updated. Um, I might try and make more vlogs 
if I get around to it. Um, but things are really busy. You know, I'm trying to look after myself and I'm trying not to do too much. And now that I'm on my own, I don't have that support network where people are doing everything for me. I'm really, really knuckling down on the spoon theory. I'm really taking it seriously and well, as if I wasn't before. Um, and I'm trying my best to work within my limits so that I can balance my boundaries properly. So, yeah, I don't want to go on for too long. It's late and it's, you know, I don't want to waffle on. But, yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas uh, and, you know, a great new year. It's nice to be back. Um, hopefully I'll see you all again soon.